everybody, and welcome to Southern Movie Outdoors. I finally got you a show put together. We're doing Winslow, Arizona, and the Meteor Crater. Take it easy, baby. Take it easy. So, uh, it was a good time. That was our trip back after uh, Thanksgiving. We come back to California and went out and seen Mama Joe. Of course, if, you're, you know, if you watch the show, you know that Mama Joe passed away. He said, y'all please keep uh, Kelly's, Captain Kelly's family and children and all of us in your prayers. We sure did love her. Sure do love her. And this ain't the end. We'll see her again. So I'm excited about that day. I'm also excited about spring. It's right around the corner. It ain't going to be long. I'm just now getting my wood stove in, but at least I get to enjoy it a little bit. Kind of like my boat, ain't it? It's like everything I want, I kind of get to enjoy it just a little bit right there for the end. But uh, I got the big boat running, you know, at the end of the season. It took me all summer to get it straightened out, but you know, this year's going to be a good year. I, I, I got, I'm real hopeful. Got my hopes up. We've been burning some cedar. Had a tree fall a month or so back and some heavy winds. Probably a hundred year old cedar tree. And man, I hate it. It just made me sick. I trimmed that tree up and had it looking good. And then old wind come through and just split her open. But, so I've been sawing on that tree a little bit and burning it in my stove. And I love cedar when it burns anyway. A lot of people don't like to burn cedar, but it's kind of sappy and it gets in your flu and stuff. But, this is just a little small garage chimney, and I'm not worried about it. It's, it don't bother me. And it's got to clean out on the outside, so I can clean it up at the end of the year if I need to, whatever. But I love the way cedar smells when it's burning. And I cooked a pot of beans all night last night. Been seasoning on them today, and they just about ready. It's, uh, what, going on 1 o'clock here in Middle Tennessee, 12, what, 1240, something like that. So, uh... These, this chili is about ready. It's been simmering for several hours, and it smells good. Between the cedar and that chili, man, it smells good in here. So uh, that's going to be our supper tonight. Well, anyway, y'all like, subscribe, tell your mama and them all about us, and ring that bell. I hope you enjoy the show. When you get through watching, swing on by here and grab you a bowl of chili. God bless you guys. Thank you all. Have a wonderful night. Boys looking good. Everybody, we're down in Imperial Beach in San Diego, California. We're trying to do a little surf fishing, but as you can see behind me, man, it is rough. I can't even hardly keep the bait in the water. The riptide's trying to drag me back out, so I don't I think today's gonna be a very successful day. This is a quick video because we gotta get back on the road pretty fast. But uh, we're at the Meteor Crater just down the road from Two Guns, Arizona. Meteor Crater, I'd never really heard of it. Kelly was telling me about it, she'd seen it. And we came up here gonna get some drone shots of it, but you've gotta have written permission, I guess from the Meteor Crater people to do it. And they want $20 a person to go in and don't allow dogs. Well, if little buck can't go, his daddy can't go, at least not this trip. So we didn't get to go up and check out the meteor crater, but you pull out on public land, fly that drone over public land, and still get a good shot. Check this out. The crater was created approximately 50,000 years ago when a meteor ended its 500 million year journey through space on the collision course with Earth, traveling at approximately 26,000 miles per hour. It passed through the Earth's atmosphere, giving a blinding flash, struck the Earth with an explosive force greater than 20 million tons of TNT. In seconds, the crater 700 feet deep and over 4,000 feet across left a giant bowl shaped cavity 
low Arizona. done them a favor. Small town. I mean, as far as, you know, getting recognition. Well, they take up three whole exits on the interstate. Well, they're bigger than Carthage. Oh. That's for sure. The sign said Winslow next three exits. Okay, so we're standing on a corner in, in Winslow, Winslow, Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Not the corner, but a corner. <laughs> the corner is just right up here. So come on, we're going to show you what it is. <laughs> Bug's standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, too. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Ah, no jumping. No jumping. Bug. High five it, but I can't reach it. High five. <laughs> well, he had his hand up. So I was going to high five it. It's pretty cool. Uh huh. Stop peeing on everything. Winslow Police Department, K9. Bug, you might have some kinfolk at work here. Some ancient cousins or whatever. Second, third, fourth, fifth cousins. <laughs> Mail order bride. World's smallest church. Where? Up there. Huh. I hear music. Mm -hmm. Dude picking that guitar. Look, take it easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, smells good. Arizona Trading Company. There's the Route 66. There's a map of Route 66 right there in the window. See ya. What? Map of Route 66. Oh. Come on, bug.
pretty cool. There's another old Ford sitting down there. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Let's see. Here's a roadside attraction. 66 roadside attraction standing on the corner park Winslow Arizona this area, this area was dedicated on September 11th 1999 as a tribute to the memorial memorable song of the 1970s that made Winslow Arizona a town in a, to sing about on the fam, on the famous route 66 that's pretty cool All right, so we're back at the corner where we started in Winslow, Arizona, and we fell into the tourist trap. We sure did. So, if you come to Winslow, be prepared to at least buy you a shirt and a sign. And, and a sign. Yeah. Gotta have a sign. And some magnets. And what else? A uh, coaster, coaster and some mints. And some mints. Some yes. Route 66 mints. Yes. So. Bug needs them for his breath. Well. His breath smells like fish. It does smell all, like fish all the time. All the time. His breath Oddest smells thing. like fish. So. Oddest thing. All right, well, I guess next stop, Tennessee. We're ready to go home. Hope you all enjoyed the show. We appreciate you watching. God bless you guys. Like, subscribe, tell your mama and them about us, and ring that bell. We'll catch you later.